Let's take a look at our next IAC scanning tool, and this one is TFSec. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. Let's clear here and look at our TFSec guide here. So uh, the command that we would run for TFSec is very simple. You just run TFSec and then the directory that you want to scan. So in this case, we are going to scan the Terraform directory. So once again, here we go. We got our uh, TFSec output um, and you can see that it gives you a summary, a nice summary at the very end. It tells you the results. So we've got six past policies, zero ignored, five critical, 18 high, four medium, and six low. So a total of 33 potential problems have been detected. Uh, and this is all open source out of the box. There's no API or anything like that that I'm running. So that is available uh, completely uh, open source. Now you can see each one of those uh, policies, you can see the result, low secure, this is a low vulnerability security group rule does not have a description and gives you the file, exactly the location, uh, an ID for this check, the impact, the resolution, add descriptions for all security group rules. So it's a nice touch here, giving you the resolution right in the CLI. And of course, more information. And TFSec is backed by Aqua Security. So you can see some of the docs have Aqua Security in it right here and you can follow these links for more information. Okay. Now you can also, similar to what we saw with Chekhov, you can specify a particular output format. So in this case, we are going to output uh, everything in JSON, as you can see here. And you can also exclude certain checks by specifying the check ID as, be, as shown in this command. So I can go ahead and run this command with the exclude flag and exclude a particular uh, check and now we can see that we've ignored two checks right here okay and now we have only 31 potential problems all right so that uh, that's it for the built-in uh, policies by tfsec now let's take a look at a custom policy and we're going to do the same thing we did with checkoff so basically the exact same uh, scenario where we have a um, an S3 bucket that has a PCI requirement with scope PCI, that tag we saw. And also we have the, um, we have the public read in the ACL of that S3 bucket. So once again, we can just run this and TFSec against the Terraform, um, Terraform uh, folder. And let's look for this PCI policy tfchecks.yaml in the .tfsec folder. So by default, if you uh, create a .tfsec uh, folder inside the, the folder that you're scanning, which is the Terraform folder, it's going to create, uh, or you can put the PCI policy here that we're, we just mentioned. So any custom policies that are here will be uh, scanned automatically by tfsec. And this is using YAML. There are two ways of using, using a custom policy with TFSec. You can use RAM, YAML or a Rego policy uh, or Rego. It's, it's spelled R-E-G-O, but it's pronounced Rego from uh, OPA. Um, in this case, I opted to use a YAML. Uh, it could be YAML or it could be JSON. I'm using YAML here and I give it the code or the check ID, if you will, of custom or CUS999 and give it a description, make sure S3 bucket ACL is not public read if it has a scope equals to PCI tag. Uh, you can give it an impact, a message, a resolution. The required type is resource. The required label is AWS S3 bucket. A severity in this case, I chose critical. And a match spec. So we're matching if uh, any of these happen. So if it's not, if it doesn't contain tags or uh, if it doesn't contain tags with the key scope and the value PCI, or if it doesn't contain uh, an ACL with a value of public read. So we're, we're actually looking for this to pass, right? So if any of this is, um, uh, it doesn't contain tags or it doesn't contain this public read, it will pass the check, right? So you gotta think of it in, in the opposite uh, way. Uh, and now if I go ahead and search for 999 i will see here we go our custom cus 999 uh check has failed and it's a critical check 
and the message that we put it in the description here uh, shows up as well and here is our resource and once again the particular file and so on so this is all uh, this is how you create a custom check or custom policy inside of TFSEC.